Mitch, you talk about keeping each other accountable. How is the connection with the rest of the boys? Are you talking to each other on a daily basis? How do you make sure when there is so much uncertainty about when the footy's going to get going again that you are there um, exactly where you want to be in terms of your fitness and, and I guess your mental approach to it as well? Yeah, we've got some groups. So we've got some WhatsApp groups. So, um, you know, Paramount pretty... Pretty generous in letting us just go to the go to train and take whatever whatever gear we needed, whatever the watt bike throwers, things like that, um, for for certain players to see what they needed help with. So they were pretty good in that. But you know we got some WhatsApp groups and our um, our head strength and strength and conditioning has uh, made up some programs for us to do. Them. So we're just keeping each other accountable and, and filling out what what sessions we do each day. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty good. But I, I think we're we're heading in the right position. Um, yeah, by keeping each other accountable, I guess. Any favourite movies, Mitch, that you're watching in isolation? Any... Mate, you know what? I, I watched I watched the Test series, the uh, the cricket on Amazon. That was yeah. that was pretty good. But man, I finished that in the first day. So <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got nothing else at the moment. So um, hopefully, a bit more comes out. I don't know. Oh, well, if you're, a, if you're a sports subscriber on Foxtel, they've just opened the movie channels to you, so you can watch whatever you, you like. There you go, mate. Well, there you go. Done. Have to Perfect. I'll have to get straight on for that. That's like a gift to you, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We, we spoke to Brad the other day and you could see how emotional he was about, you know, having to, the club having to stand down so many of the staff. Um, and, and you said there, you know, you've still got a connection with the, the trainers and all the fitness guys um, who are probably working for nothing at the moment because they just want to be there to support um, you guys. I guess through these uncertain times, you must feel really lucky to have a coach like Brad Arthur who cares so much and he's doing everything he can to keep his arms around everyone and look after you guys. Yeah, exactly. Brad's, um, you know, Brad's been a big impact on my career, I guess, in the last two years with ups and downs. But, you know, we've, we've had some real genuine conversations. I feel like that's, that's how our relationship's grown and um, he just really loves his players and, I really respect that as a coach and, and even even the rest of our coaching staff you know, from our assistant coaches to to our strength and conditioners, you know, they're they're all really um really investing in the team and um even though they're not getting paid at the moment, they're still they're still helping us out with programs and, you know, looking checking in with us every day, seeing what we're doing and um, you know, it's just a it's a really good club to be at at the moment, Parramatta and um, you know, that's and, and Brad's leading that I guess. What what's his greatest asset as a coach, Mitch, B A? Ah, uh, mate, just how he looks after his players, I guess. That's, that's probably the biggest thing I've got from me, how, how honest he is with his players. Um, I've, like I said, in the past, I've, I've had some very honest conversations with him from the twenty when I, from when I moved there in 2017, went through a wooden spoon season in 2018 and had some real tough conversations that, you know, you probably don't want to have with your coach, but I'm so glad we did and um, we've come out the other side and I feel like he's really enhanced my, um, you know, really helped me in my footy, I guess, um, in the last two years. Which of your teammates are you missing the most at the moment, Mitch? And which of your teammates are you really happy to have a break from? I'm happy to have a break from Fergus straight away. That's, that's <laughs> an easy one. He's um, I don't know how I don't know how I'd go in isolation with him. It's probably be the worst thing ever. But um, you know, I'm probably missing Gutho. He's a good laugh. He's a bit a lot of energy at training. But um, it's pretty much everyone. You know, we we've got a good group at Parramatta and a real close group that um, you know, I'm missing all of them. What? Why Fergo? Talk us through that. Yeah, big curious, why you mi- big why, curious why? about that. Because <laughs> he's mental. He's just mental. Like, I don't know. Like he'll, he'll have his mood swings. Like he'll be up one 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 minute, and next minute he'll be down, and then you don't want. To, he doesn't want to talk to you. Then he'll want to grab you, wrestle you. He's just. He's not all there, mate. That's what he is. <laughs> I didn't mind. I didn't mind those T bets. I like. I like those ones that are a bit up and down. You know, you never know what you're, you're going to get. Yeah, but mate, yeah. imagine if you're in isolation with him. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be torture. Yeah, that'd be torture. Yeah, yeah, that'd be torture. Too much. Yeah, yeah. too much. Uh, There's a lot of talk about what the competition's mm. going to look like once footy gets going again. And I know that the NRL are working really hard to try and put a 20-week comp together, including the two rounds that we've already had. So if you do 13 rounds of um, regular season where all the teams play each other once and you've got four weeks of finals, there's a spare week. And they're talking about potentially maybe um, bringing in a wild card week where maybe it's the top 10 and then um, eight plays 10 then it comes down from and there. It goes down from there. So, what do you think about that sort of yeah. concept, Mitch? Would you like to see something a little bit different um, that we haven't possibly seen in NRL before, just to, I guess, create interest and get the fans really engaged with it? Yeah, well, it's probably be the season to, to start it if the if the comp starts back up. I guess 
there's always there's all the talks around the 15 15 comp season. So um, if they want to throw something like that in, I guess it's probably the time to do it, just because it's a bit of gambles at the moment. But um, yeah, I, I reckon I'm open to pretty much everything, uh, whatever the whatever they think will be best for the for the game and to grow the game. I, I guess um, I'm all for it. What about Origin, mate? It's got to be on the list at some stage. What do you What are you thinking? I know. We all we all want to play Origin, right? We, we as a as a half coming through yeah. the grades, but you, you I mean you're getting to near your best form that you've ever been in. Surely you can almost touch it, or you can see it. It's not far away. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. You know, I've, I've always, like you said, as a half, you know, when you're growing up, you always want to play Origin footy. But um, you know, I think I've just got to focus on playing good footy for Para. I think uh, if if I work about everything else, and uh, I, I think that'll affect my footy, but. You know, if, if I'm playing for footy for Parramatta, mate, that stuff will that stuff will come and that stuff will sort itself out. So, um, yeah, I just keep my head down at Parramatta and, and, and keep winning games.